He said the sunlight. Water doesn't come in. Water doesn't come in. Rain doesn't come in. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. So everything is so in so ventilation. Yeah. Yes. I've seen that day. Sometimes I'm tired. You can't tie the face in love. You've got to see some lies. You want to experiment. You start small. When you understand the business, then you can now expand. So even you, you don't have to even say you're trying to get to land or you're just somewhere at your back. Yes. You can just construct something like this. Then as time goes, and even you get more demand, you know, now expand. So this whole snail thing is pretty easy to be honest. It's not so difficult. It's more like you just create an environment mm -hmm. and then nature takes care of itself. So after the major thing with snail is literally the place is wet so you don't need to be putting too much water mm -hmm. but this season that we are and everywhere is dry if you have to consciously be wetting the place so that because you know how snails are not anywhere we work at day yes. and then they do so you need to make the place like that yeah. then you have to put a lot of the air leaves, leaves like this because it actually helps to retain water and make the place yeah. so right. you dry yes so you dry okay. one you cannot use the raw one, boil with the water. You, you can, but it won't give you the result. The quantity of, the quantity of garlic that you use. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So you pick it up like this. So if this is a very big rabbit, and once you then for them to make it easier for you to handle them, is if they are comfortable with the way you are holding them. If they are not comfortable, they can scratch you. Oh. With their, their, this thing can be very sharp yeah, and some of all these the nails of these animals is not sterile so if it scratches you and the enters your blood you can actually start having skin infection or something like that wow. so you always want the thing we tell you we restrain is restrain in a way that the animal is safe and you are safe mm -hmm. so it's not just the animal so but when they are comfortable they will not struggle okay. so once you hold holding it just up like this is not a good thing because i would I don't want okay mm. like this is wrong because i'm leaving the weight for all the body so mm. you go to the base and support and support that way when you hold like this you can do medication you can do everything it will not struggle it will not struggle with you because it's not but imagine you hold it like that or you're not holding just the ear and leaving the ear to hold the length of the whole body you are traumatizing the animals and they will not effectiveness of your practice is really dependent on your kind of management I, I believe, strongly believe that there are other practices of gravity that will give you better results than what you get because animals always do better if you create an environment that is the closest to their natural environment. We know that rabbits and animals are burrow through trees, they are not just confined within a space. So, no matter how you try, if you want to do, do something that is just starting, this is feasible. But if you have a lot of land to play around with, it's better you create a space where you let them to move on their own. You will notice that when they are there like that, they they have this instinct to dig the floor and bury their children there because the instinct is they are um, preventing them from predators because they are living in the wild. So do and then that way that is not still safer for the babies because that place is more conducive. And on when you go beneath the soil like that, the tendency for them to be case now is it's actually more systemic issue. Can cause respiratory sign also, can cause gastrointestinal sign. So you start seeing things like pneumonia, they are not breathing well. A lot of nasal discharge, if you don't get to the point, is a synonym for it, it's even called kata. Yeah. That is a common name yeah. because of the kind of discharge. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they'll be coughing, yeah. they can't breathe well, and all of that. Then for the gastrointestinal sign, you see diarrhea. Like, I don't know if you've heard the word called renal yeah. Rinderpest is that though they say it has been eradicated, is a disease for cattle. 
is like the cousin or the brother of this PPR. That one, even call it projector diarrhea. If the cat wants to pass out, it's like this. She from the back. From there, it can move. That's how yeah, the yeah. projectile the it is. So it's something similar. Even the virus that causes it is called it's a mobility virus. They are from the same family, so the science is quite similar. Then when you check around the mouth, you will notice lesions like wound. That's been for air. Then coughing, yeah. Uh -huh, Gaping. Yes, yes. Those are respiratory signs that you see. So sometimes it can be just one, sometimes it can be a combination of all. So in a situation where there's a combination of all, most times you have to always give secondary bacterial against infection because we want to revive disease as they come, they bring down the immunity of the dead. So even the normal um bacterial organism that is just a normal commensal in their system will now become they will not use the opportunity yeah, to show their self. So it's more like and a person don't come open door for them, they'll come show their So most times you don't have to support with um antibiotics. So if they're showing varied signs like there's the respiratory, there's the GI, you have to give a very broad spectrum antibiotics that can cover. But if it's limited to one, maybe just the respiratory. You can now maybe be more biased towards um antibiotics that is just for respiratory organ. But if you're not sure, giving a broad spectrum antibiotics at that point is okay. So I think people